Hey Lincoln fans, right here in front of us we have an all new redesigned 2017 MKZ 2.0 turbo and this is a luxury rental car it's a little bit dirty so please excuse that and this video is going to be a little bit different than a normal review video due to time the sun is setting and we don't have much daylight left but I wanted to take a video showing you this car it's just a pretty nice car by Lincoln and uh, I couldn't resist taking a video of it we're gonna be taking it back tomorrow sometime so right now is the only chance that I have to take a video of it Looking at it, you'll notice that it has a black exterior. You have chrome handle faces, chrome outlining around your windows, Michelin tires, some very nice alloy rims. They are 19 inches. Tire sizes are 245, 40, R19s. Gonna go ahead and try to get through this video as quick as possible before it gets dark while also being as detailed as possible. So here's your key fob right here. Nice feel and good quality look to this key fob, nice and thick. Up front you have LED headlights and LED fog lights. Lots of chrome growing on up here. Uh, you have chrome grill, uh, chrome surrounding your fog lights down low. Just a nice aggressive look to the face. Nice lines in the hood giving the car a more aggressive look. And a really nice design to your headlights. The back end of the car I believe is pretty much the same as the previous generation. If not the same it's very similar looking. However the front is completely redesigned. Numbers keypad entry, folding mirrors, chrome on the bottom of those. It does have smart key access. Really nice color combo, the black on the outside and on the inside the really nice black leather interior with black stitching and in the center of the seats you have perforated leather. And I gotta say, the quality of the interior feels very luxurious. It's very upscale. Pretty much your whole dash is soft to the touch with stitching in various places, like right here, just in front of your steering wheel, above your gauge cluster. And pretty much your whole door panel for the driver and front passenger is soft touch. The only thing that's not soft touch is this little strip right here. But everything else is nice soft touch leather. Up here you have black stitching, wood grain, chrome interior door handles, nice good quality feel to those, brushed chrome, speaker there on the door. A total of 20 speakers comes in the car, the new 2017 MKZ. Memory seating. All auto windows, and of course you have power up windows, locks, and mirrors. Soft touch armrest here with stitching. Down low you have cup holders and storage in the door. Lincoln plating on the way inside. Nice chrome. And that is lit up it looks like. It's hard to tell, but I believe it is. Go ahead and put the seat back some. Dual front power seats. We'll go ahead and start it up. Set the key fob down right here. And here you have a USB port. And again, the layout of this video is not going to be like a normal review video, but we're going to go ahead and go on with it. And upon starting the vehicle, you'll notice that your side view mirrors will fold out. Three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with black stitching, paddle shifters behind. Over on the right side of the steering wheel you have your wiper controls and over on the left you have your blinker controls. 
high beams. Automatic daytime running lamps. And those are on as you can see right now. Your gauge cluster dimming right over to the left there. We'll go ahead and turn that up all the way. Your trunk release. The trunk is power. So we'll go ahead and pop that. And you can see that it's open. Push that one more time. And now it is shutting. Very nice feature. Two ventilation ducts in the center here. Above those you have a speaker. Right here is your touchscreen display system. And over to the left of that you have a really nice nice uh, shifter design here. Push button shift. Backup camera with guidance lines. Nice setup of that. That's that's pretty luxurious there. Up top, you have a black headliner. Right here, some interior lighting. Looks like this here is a sunglasses holder. LED interior lighting. Right here in the center you have a pop open cover here with two cup holders and looks like you have some lighting down in there. Heated and cooled seats. Those cooled seats are a really nice feature. They work very well. Dual zone automatic climate controls. Audio controls here in the center. Not going to go too in depth with this due to time and like I said it's getting dark out but right here is your touchscreen display system a little bit but I, I do think that there will be some bargain hunting going on and I don't think that's a bad thing I think you have the touchscreen uh, system doesn't seem to lag at all seems very responsive just going through and clicking various things here and it seems like it's not lagging at all very nice we'll go ahead and turn this off over here you have your hazard flashers up top, traction control, auto hold. Close door and fasten seat belt to enable auto hold. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now we'll go ahead and get moving along here. You do have some lighting inside your chrome handle here and down below this strip here. Roll the driver's window down. And I really haven't done any research on this car, so I'm not going to be able to give you the in-depth info and, uh, and all the extra goodies that I'd like to since it's a spur of the moment review. More of that lighting right here. Very nice. Same materials as the front. Your, all your leather is still continuing here. Even this stuff here is soft to the touch. Everything. Looks like yeah, everything on this panel here except for this section. Just like up front is soft touch. Speaker down here. Storage and cup holders. Go ahead and step in back here. Three, uh, three prong power outlet, two USB ports, cover for that, two ventilation ducts there for the rear passengers, perforated leather here inside your seat net, comfortable seating position, not cramped at all, that driver's seat is all the way back to, and I have enough room to move around and not be cramped. In the center, for the rear passengers, you have a flop-down armrest with two cup holders and a center console storage area. And behind that, you have access to your trunk. And I can tell through the camera it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit. Out back, you have LED tail lights. Nice light bar continuing across the whole trunk and the sides of the car. 
dual exhaust with chrome tips and a chrome strip running in between the two exhaust tips. Right here is your trunk release. Power. Nice size trunk here. You can haul a pretty decent amount of stuff in there. Looks like you have some LED lighting in there. This flops up. Down there is your spare tire. And it looks like, uh, let's see here, some kind of tool or something that comes with the car. And right over here to the left, you have your auto trunk shut. Right here is your trunk release in case for some reason you or somebody you know was to get trapped in the car, which let's hope that doesn't happen. That power trunk is a pretty nice feature. Here's your backup camera right there. Not sure if you can quite see it. And right here is your LED third brake light. Reflectors on the side. They do light up. Same up front. Rear passenger side. And it looks like one of my flip-flops just came off. Velcro is getting pretty weak on them. Anyway, looks like this seat is in the same position as the drivers, except for it might be reclined a little bit more. But I'm still not cramped. Nice design to the leather seats. The way it kind of flows, that's pretty cool. Another seat net over here. And of course your same door set up as the rear driver's side. Guys, I really wish I could go more in depth and do a normal style review or a review like I've been doing lately over my past probably half a dozen videos videos or so but we're gonna go ahead and roll with this even though it might not be as good a quality passenger door here same setup as the drivers minus a bunch of the controls cup holder storage the whole nine yards continues your Lincoln plating again and of course your power seats over here as well you have chrome outlining around your power seat buttons lumbar support not sure if you can see that moving but that's that's a very nice feature down here you have a pretty nice storage area and you have two 12 volt power outlets in there up here you have another storage area it's not quite as big but it's still a nice size storage area and felt lined center con or glove box with two trays. You have a tray up top here, or shelves, one shelf up here, and another shelf down here with more LED lighting. And your 2017 MKZ owner's manual with the leather case. Pretty thick owner's manual there. Set that back in there. And all this here, again, is soft touch, giving the car a much more high quality feel. This here, the leg room. The leg room is nice in the rear, and especially for the front passengers. I'm, the seat is all the way back. I'm stretched completely out, and I'm even leaned back a little bit. This is, this is a very comfortable ride here. Nice, solid, good quality feel to the doors. Once it gets completely dark, I might try to snag a nighttime walk around video of it also. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood at the 2.0 Turbo. Under the hood, you have the 2.0 liter Turbo EcoBoost engine. Hydraulic hood.
We'll go ahead and shut it off now. Grab the key fob here. Really a nice, good quality car. Nice, good quality feel to it. Lincoln did a nice job with the refresh of it. Man, looks like my flip-flop came off again. I'm just going to keep walking, though. So there you go, guys. That's the startup tour and review in a little bit of a different fashion than normal. But at least I got to snag a video of it before we take it back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Man, check out my other videos. on Max Truck 9906